We've got another guy waiting in the wings here, Matt Fair. Excited to get him on the show. YouTube podcast with smoke and tire. All sorts of car knowledge this guy has because we're not really car guys. We just happen to be <laughs> driving in circles. Welcome to the Stacking Pennies. Come on, Mr. Man. Matt Fair. Put her there. Sit on down <laughs> on the old couch. Thanks right for joining us. Here. How you guys doing? Hometown guy out here, right? Yeah, yeah. They're How right far away road. from here? Like five miles. So I was so excited to see what this guy rolled in on today. And he's like, oh, man, I want to show you what I wrote in here. Some got a seafoam green Vespa outside. Well, we, were, we were joking about it <laughs> yesterday. The they're like, you know, they're, what do you want to talk to? What do you want to talk to Fair about? I was like, I want to ask him what he's going to drive up. And someone's like, I bet he's going to drive a scooter. I'm like, yeah, you're full of shit. Yeah, no. no it's right outside the curb. Drove Whoever seat. said that knows me very, knows you very well. well. <laughs> yeah. Gas prices I don't have time for cars. No, it's faster. You can lane split legally in really? California. Yeah. It's very civilized here. Like right. What is so, very civilized on the highway on the way here? Because we about died in our room. Multiple times. Right. Well, you would go through that if you were on a scooter. <laughs> Do you take that thing on the highway? Hell yeah. Oh, my God. It's I'm a sure. 300. It does 85. I'm, oh, sure, that thing, oh, I'm yeah. sure that thing's like tuned up, too. It's not. No, small. no. It's it's just a regular Vespa. But you have a matching sweet, helmet? Man. No, I have a real teal helmet. helmet. I have a real <laughs> helmet. No, no, I wear actually Leather wear. Jacket. No, I, I wear like gear. I did, it's sitting on the bike, but I, I wear like actual gear. I don't, I don't mess around. Yeah, I ride real bikes too, but like in the city, dude. This have is you sweet. ridden one of these? What is a live wire? It was yeah, called? they're cool. Have you ridden those? Yeah, but like they don't go very far. Okay, like Harley says it'll do like 140 miles on a charge. They are lying. Well, that's it's when, like I, I rode one for a week and I never got more than 70 miles out of a charge. Was hmm. that the one that uh, was it you and McGregor? They did the yeah, electric bike long trip. way, yeah. a long way up. Yeah, I think. Yeah, from like and they Argentina. charged it like off a Rivian truck, I yeah. think. Yeah, which is cool. Like, and if you're like the size of you and McGregor, you could probably <laughs> go a little further. <laughs> but like when you're me and you're a better door than a window, you know, there's some aero uh, resistance. Disadvantages uh, uh, get down on that thing. Yeah, you can make you tuck and it's like a it's do you a do that thing. on the Vespa? I've I have tuck, yeah, yeah. It, you get an extra three. Yeah, yeah. You get it you could if you draft or if you tuck, you yeah. can get a little out of it. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, shaking and baking. Oh man, they're gonna love that you got me out here talking about my Vespa. That's that's real that's <laughs> well, real car guy. Drafting just, yeah. it, drafting <laughs> Dra- yeah, drafting fits in with the it, Vespa. Uh, it, I just, does. it absolutely works too. Yeah. It really yeah. Works. No, you can probably feel it too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. What real. is the what is the best thing to draft on a Vespa? Oh, like a like a semi truck, yeah. fully, yeah, 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 yeah. Big yeah. Pull, huge. Well, you ever you know you ever see those guys on um or or girls on like on bicycles where they do like some lands you know they yeah. they ride ninety miles an hour on a bicycle and yeah. it's like behind a, yeah. a yeah, lead a, car. It's like that, like a, fish, like a half fish. Bowl yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you get one of those semi trucks that's got the little arrow fins mm-hmm. on oh, it, yeah. you're just like half throttle at ninety. It's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man. So you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Huge YouTube podcaster, the Smoke and Tire, like we mentioned earlier. Over a million you. YouTube subscribers. Yes, sir. Thank Were you. you on, when did you realize that YouTube could actually be something that is viable to live off of? Uh, well, it took, a, it took a couple of years, um, but I realized it was much more fun than what I was doing before. Which Very was? early. Which I owned was? a car wash. Okay. And, we, and when YouTube came out, we used, we used YouTube in the beginning to market the car wash. Hmm. And then I was like, you know, it's a lot more fun than washing cars, uh, making videos about yeah. them. And so, so we started by doing by what, doing that. And what year was that? Two thousand six. November. What were you making videos on? In the beginning, like the our customers would like go on these drives. Like it was right when Gumball started to be cool, like a thing. Well, so, I don't even know what that is. It's like a. It's like a if you race real cars, it's okay. the lamest thing ever. It's like <laughs> rich guys in Ferraris going from city to city, okay. and you know, kind of like a, like kind of like a cannonball. Similar yes, but a cannonball is like the real thing that yeah. they actually kind of based it on. Yeah. Um, but that's but a cannonball is only like cool when you're done. When you're in the car for 30 hours, mm-hmm. like a cannonball is not actually cool. So they made it like a lifestyle event. Okay. So in, when that started becoming a thing, we would have these little sort of road rally type of deals. And we were filming that. And it was like we almost kind of did it like um, like they were skate videos. Like I had a skateboarding photographer kind of get those kind of angles and he was nuts. He'd hang out of my car, and and this was before you could like mount cameras on stuff. He was he had like one of them cameras like hanging out of a car. It was <laughs> it was ridiculous, and uh, and that sort of turned into like me reviewing other people's cars, and you know now here we are like what eighteen years later. Yeah, was it the math? And uh, I've reviewed twenty one hundred cars. Dang, yeah, what's the a lot what's of cars. the biggest piece of 
you've ever worked <laughs> oh there's been a couple because for a while like like you know stuff that it's very hard to find like a brand new car that's a complete piece yeah. of shit, but like you know that many cars i would have people bring me their personal cars and i'd review them and yeah. so people are definitely not honest all the time about what their car is and isn't and <laughs> Uh, there, you know, a couple things stand out. One one guy brought me like a 78 Camaro or something. And we found out on the very top of a mountain that only three of his four brakes were connected. And so when you touch the brake, it would like swerve hard right. And it was and the guy was like, oh, yeah, it does that. I was like, you tell me this in the email beforehand, yeah. not like now here when I'm going to die. Did and you make it down the mountain? Yeah, but that guy didn't make it on the internet ever again. I mean, that, that guy deleted all his accounts once that video went up. It was he he did himself <laughs> did you roast him. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, I was just honest about what happened, but the audience had none of it. Yeah, and uh, you know when the Ariel Adam came out, you guys know what the Ariel yeah, Adam yeah. is? It's yeah, like yeah. The, I've the car that's those like, out before. They're Real crazy. Fun. Yeah, nuts. They're they're insane. It's like a it's like a like a tube frame car, but with no body. Yeah, but it's 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 engineered like you know to be that. And so, but they're kind of expensive. They're like a hundred thousand dollars to get one of these things, and and they're crazy. And so, for a couple of years, people tried to like make their own. And so, there was first this company Exaset that would convert a Miata into a, a tube mm. kind of car, and then people just started taking like front wheel drive hatchbacks and like taking the body off and like leaving a floor pan and welding <laughs> something resembling a cage. And so there was a company trying to do that, and it was the, one of the most dangerous things you could ever imagine. It was very what, terrible. In your expert opinion, what Boy, do you think is the today? most similar car to a NASCAR on the road today? Uh, I mean, you could stuff. probably drive a vintage NASCAR on the road. If you, yeah. I mean, well, there's one right there. I think James Kirkham owned, not this one. There's a Rusty Wallace car. I think yeah. he drives it on the street. Does he oh. really? That rules, if so. Good for him. Um, so, I mean, independent you know, rear, transaxle, sequential shifter. I mean, that's a lot of cars. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you uh, like the new Corvette has that. Yeah. Um, the Ford, uh, Shelby GT500. Yeah. Actually, front engine, rear wheel drive, mm -hmm. transaxle, dual clutch from Tremec. Uh, lots of power. Yeah. Um, that, and they sound mean. Too. They're great cars. And they're good investments if you can get one. If you can get a GT500 now, they really hold their value very well. How many cars do you have? Seven, eight. Now, I if think you had seven to get, or eight. If, if the wife made you get rid of all of them but one never would that's why she's the wife <laughs> but if she did <laughs> yeah which one do you keep which one do i keep yeah she yeah. made me get rid of all of them but one yes oh the uh, vespa the, car, the cars <laughs> that's a practical solution um <laughs> you have a Countach, don't you i do have a Countach. yeah, yeah i would probably have to keep what'd that. you call me yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice. i'd probably have to keep that that's that one's a real that one's a real keeper you don't you don't get rid of something like that yeah well it's um, also like you know, it's not going down in value. Anytime yeah, so. it's if the wife is it know. is it a brand new one? No, no, the old the nineteen eighty eight. You know, know what that is? No, like uh, Cannonball Run. Okay, you know the the black yeah. one like yeah. that. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Like See, classic. I'm not a car guy. I just drive one. That's <laughs> you know, there's a lot of drivers that are kind of like that. I like cars. Yeah, I mean, I've got a, a seventy Cuda I'm building right now. It's been building it for two and a half years and still hasn't. I put a Hellcat motor in it, but that's cool. It'll get done like well, the next fun. half decade probably. That kind of gets you there. But there's a yeah. lot of people who, it was who drive race cars, and and the car is just you know the tool to to Do go fast or whatever, yeah. and they have no attachment to the car itself. That's us. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. like we were talking about that before we came here, and we're not car guys. We never really were because we were just race car guys, right? We're just working on steering box and truck arm cars. That's yeah, what, like what it was. Yeah. and that's where the next gen car has actually propelled us to be more like car guys because now we're you know we're yeah. like in the 21st century yes yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah and like i'll go watch imsa races and sports car races to figure out okay what are they doing yeah so has has the next gen car almost made us more relevant to car guys like you where we're not running it has for me i mean i i you know i was really into nascar in the 80s when i was a kid uh my dad took me to i don't know what it's called now but it was the atlanta journal 500 so the, the race in atlanta and uh and Corey my, loves that one yeah almost yeah. Won it twice. I do. almost won it twice yeah. yeah and uh my my old man's like one of his best friends was the editor of the atlanta newspaper at the time the atlanta journal uh constitution and my dad was the grand marshal got to get up hey. in front of a hundred thousand nice. people and say gentlemen start your engines so i'm like i'm like eight yeah you know and that's the cool you know we rode in the uh in the pace car the grand prix gtp wide track pontiac yes. pace car and i and i met dale and i met rusty and i met dick trickle 
And Big I, Rusty at, guy. Uh, That's I, his favorite. Rusty also, gave me a bush light hat. It was f- awesome. See, Rusty is a stand up guy. Uh, he was nice as hell to me as a little kid. So yeah. was Dale. Or Dale was the coolest. He gave me like five minutes of his time. It was like, amazing. Um, so that that experience like made me a NASCAR fan. And then of course, Days of Thunder. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. And then I got I transitioned into into sports car racing, and I do like a little bit of sports car racing, do like you? endurance stuff. Yeah. What's around here for a track you run up? Um, I, I actually uh, Willow Button Spring? Willow Button Willow, Willow, Willow Springs, Chuck Walla. Um, Chuck Walla is my favorite. It's yeah. out by Palm Springs. Have you done uh, Laguna Sega? Yes. Is it it's fun? F- great. Is it? Oh, it's the it's the best. I mean. When you're into sports cars, can I just you know, jump ahead to the elevation question? makes the makes the track, right? Can I just jump ahead to the question? Yeah. If you had to pick one car and one racetrack to race at the rest of your life, what do you go with? Uh it's a race car, not a road car. Whatever race you car. want. Yeah. Whatever you want, buddy. Uh, Open end quiz is your adventure. Uh Porsche nine eleven cup. The the ra- the 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 nine eleven race car. Yeah. Okay. And uh and probably I mean, one racetrack, spa. Ooh. Spa in Belgium. Best yeah. best oh, tarmac have you, I've ever have driven. You driven. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. What was Eau Rouge like? Uh, it it reminds you that you are not uh, that you are a little <laughs> bit more of a <laughs> than you thought. Yeah. You were. Because oh, I get reminded of that every you know weekend. I lifted. I I, Did I, you? I I I drove it in a road car. I drove it in a um a Mercedes C sixty three. I didn't get to drive it in a car with like downforce, okay, or anything like that. And I've done like Nurburgring and that kind of stuff. But if you, if you can take Eau Rouge flat, you know you're brave and you're in a real car. Yeah. But you cannot do it in a Mercedes C sixty three. I assure it, you. Really? How often do you You'll just die. look back and <laughs> think about making videos at a car wash to a driving those racetracks? And no. then you just got back from doing. You're, I mean, you just released your Porsche video. The, yeah, I the did the Dakar, Dakar yeah. in in, in uh, Morocco. So, like, was hey, what was that like? And, and I drove the 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 1953 Cunningham that placed third at Le Mans like this past weekend in Miami. It's which not a bad life. Have you it was done, like a truck. <laughs> have, have you done uh, Goodwood? Not yet. It's, on, it's one of the last things on my list. Is yeah. Goodwood. Yeah. But, now, um, if you get the opportunity to, what are you driving there? Are we talking about up the hill? Uh, yeah. Isn't that that guy's um, long driveway? Yeah, well, that's there's there's a couple things that are Goodwood, right? There's the Festival of Speed, which yeah. is the hill climb, yeah, and then there's the uh, the Revival, which is on. There is a racetrack at Goodwood, an actual uh, road okay. course, and they race vintage cars, and it's all like period dress. Yeah, yeah. You got to go yeah. Yeah. get your period overalls and stuff. Hey, that's it's perfect mix for Chuck. Yeah, 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 big Civil War reenactment guy. Here. Seriously, yeah. Yeah. which II. side? Uh, <laughs> the, good, the, the, the yeah. side that won. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> I also do World War II stuff. <laughs> Again, same question. America, America. The good guys. Uh, Goodwood up the hill. Have you seen, uh, there's a new car from a guy named Gordon Murray. You know who that guy is? Nope. So, he, he's a Formula One designer. Close. Uh, <laughs> he's a Formula One designer, and he designed a car called the McLaren F1 in the 90s. Yeah. And also like uh, Formula One cars for yeah. McLaren. Yeah. And he has a new car called the T50 that is a fan car. So oh. it has a sucker fan. So it makes... Whoa. Downforce at zero. Wow. Downforce while it's stopped. And it's a V12 naturally aspirated stick shift car with the seat in the middle and a sucker fan. Do you and remember the NASCAR that. teams used to do that with the brake ducts? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Front pans. Yep. Yeah. Oh, all of it. The oil oh. coolers. Well, there's this other new, this weird car, and you should get a, Google it when you can. It, it just set the record at Goodwood, the hill climb this year. Electric the, car? The spear, Dude. the McMurtry's, McMurtry Spearling. Dude, that it's thing It's like was three sick. quarter scale. That thing was sick. Did you, did you see the video? It looked like a slot car. It looked like it was in fast forward. Yes, like yeah. it doesn't look like a real video. That's, it was electric, wasn't it? Yeah, it's it was electric, like, yeah. and it's a sucker car. And it's like a prototype body, and it makes two thousand pounds of downforce at zero. <laughs> oh my goodness! Dude, the level of I commitment. thought that that was. It looked like it was on fast forward. The, it was crazy. The video I, I remember yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah. The level of commitment at Goodwood, because there's not. If you wreck, it's yeah. not. There's not really a great option. It's on what twenty feet. The driveway is twenty feet wide. <laughs> Some people like, <laughs> and I you're also know. messing the guy's grass up in his I don't front yard. Know if it was a lot of cool, bales. fortunately. Yeah. yeah. Who was it? Petrie or somebody that took like a? Someone took a Skinner, old NASCAR there and wrecked it. Skinner. Yeah. Oh yeah, and if yeah. you if you wreck, it's like hay bales or a yeah. Wall there's not a great option or people like it's no. all bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's all bad. <laughs> yeah. You ever wrecked somebody's car you were doing review on? Yeah, I did. Oh, oh, it was really, really bad. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 I shouldn't have been driving it in the first place because it was pissing rain. It was in New Zealand. Okay, and you know we work on a real tight budget sometimes. We had rented this track and it was a lot of money, and yeah. you know there were no do overs because it was like crazy rain. It was standing water all over the place. And it was a, a Civic time attack car, gutted, 
you know, big K24 motor and the louvers and everything. Yeah. I mean, every big wings and canards and all kind of stuff. Yeah. And and I should have just been like, you know what? This is not the time for this. Basically, and it basically beard. had slicks on it. Like not like NASCAR slicks, but basically, you know, yeah. time attack. Yeah. And I, the first, the very first lap, I was just telling somebody about this. I touched the brake and it was just four wheel lock. lock and oh, grass wow. and yeah. tire wall and... <laughs> And uh, the guy was cooler than he had any right to be. He could have been mad, uh, but he was New Zealand Kiwis are pretty chill. And and I I literally like Venmoed him twenty five hundred dollars right there. The hell is that going to cover? <laughs> what was what? <laughs> I, I guess mean, it was a wheel, it covered his bumper actually. It did cover it, and he was cool. But actually, hey, but actually, uh, one of the great road car engineers right there, but Tim hey. Barisha, BBI Autosport. I love his hat um, going nowhere fast. Yeah, but what really sucked about that was I was supposed to test three cars on the track that day, and after that crash, I had to get in another car and make a video with that. So if you were that guy, you'd be like, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and it turned out okay but let's just say i didn't send that one so mm. is that was, the only one you've ever wrecked that's the only personal easier. car I've, it it's easier yeah, you just wrecking. get less and less what's attached your, to what's your count? <laughs> oh i stopped counting after yeah. about 12 yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, i crashed an r8 game. once on a, on a wet race track too. yeah press car yeah mm. it happens you know it, ha it happens and usually if it's a if it's a manufacturer owned car and you're really humble and you know nice and apologetic about it then you know, you, you kind of move on. Yeah. But if it's a personally owned car, you got to write a check. Man. Mm. That's yeah. the that's the kind of the tough part about the gig. No. You got to be ready to write that check. Well, you wouldn't be driving in the first place if you don't assume that liability. Right. right. No, yeah. for sure. For sure. What's what's next then in uh, in Matt's life? Uh, well, I'm coming to your race on uh, Sunday. I'm very excited. How for many that. NASCAR races have you been to? Probably seven or eight. Okay. And I was at the clash last year and it was awesome. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I think. You have to see that race in person to really appreciate. I think any race person. Yeah, but I mean, but a, but a super speedway race, you know, the TV coverage really lets you see a lot, you know, mm -hmm. with this on-screen overlays and 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 stuff like that. But at the clash, like anywhere in the stadium, you know, you can see someone gaining or losing a foot a lap, and you can really mm -hmm. you don't need a commentator to to understand what's going on in that in that race. Plus, like Cypress Hill, like. Yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent Cypress Hill. Full transparency. I had to Google them. Really, get out of here. Come on. Yep. He's just. Yeah. He's My just God. Literally, literally thirty shelter young shelter. NASCAR shelter. drivers. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just country. Kind of, really? Like, yeah. you know Cypress Hill. Insane in the brain. You never heard that? Yeah, I've heard of one song. Young. Wow. How old are you? Thirty-one. No, oh, you might be a little too yeah, young. Yeah, Cypress little, Hill. Yeah. How about that? There's a great documentary about them. I recommend you check out. Well, I'm here for the rest of the week. Might as well check it out and brush up on my Cypress Hill knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you kind of covered your embarrassing moment as well. So I guess yeah. let me ask you this mm -hmm. and cover all three. What is your first car memory? Um, the thing that really did it was actually, this is not going to be that interesting, but my dad bringing me my first car magazine, which was an issue of uh, Road and Track that had the DeLorean on the cover. Hey. And the doors were up like oh, this. Yeah. And it was like, you know, that what car. What do you think about the new one they're coming out with? They're not. They're not at all, no, or they're not. It's not real. Oh, okay. it's what we call vaporware. So, okay, it's like, like a hype dream. thing. Yeah, it's, it'll never happen. Um, and also, they're that makes they're, me sad. It's misguided. Like they think there's, there's, they think there's a lot of people that want the DeLorean to come back, but there's not. There's like seven really loud people that want the DeLorean <laughs> to come back. I used to own a DeLorean, and 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 it's they're not very good. Um, but when you're five. You know, and uh, and you see the stainless steel and the gullwing doors, and it looks very exotic. And and you go, wow, my parents drive a Mercury Cougar, and there, and then yeah. there's also something like this. Yeah, you know, so so there was that, and then they bought me a go kart, and that was Donzo. Yeah, go kart. Buy your yeah. kids go karts if you want them to like cars. That's oh, yeah. what's up. You just got your kid a go kart. Just got my Did kid you? A go -kart. Yeah, I was like, let me test drive this thing before I put her in. I got in it, throttle stuck. I'm like, thank God, <laughs> I didn't put her in this. So I gotta rebuild yeah. it. Is but, it like like the Briggs and Stratton yeah, lawnmower? Oh, yeah. Well, the, no, they're not. Like these kids today are too soft. It's got suspension, <laughs> roll cage. It's like you mine know, never had a roll cage. You gotta have one. With oh, it had a roll. Like, has a roll cage. Oh, yeah, it's got a mine was just open seats. Mine was like a tray with like a steering wheel. Hope you don't go near a fence. No, mine. I rolled it. 
I did. It wasn't part of my embarrassing moments, but I did roll it once. Yeah. Part, I mean, it was light. It was okay. If you're towing the edge, you're gonna step over it sometimes. Me and my right? brother used to drag each other behind ours. That shows. explains a lot. Yeah. yeah I so thought. So. I thought when I, I thought I'd be wise and fashion a seatbelt for my passenger, and I made one out of a belt. <laughs> what happened? Passenger <laughs> fell out, got dragged <laughs> like thirty miles an hour. No more seatbelts. Awesome. Well, Matt, I appreciate jumping out here, stacking pennies in yeah. your hometown. Any recommendations for places we should go see while we're in town or what? Uh, have you been to the Peterson Museum right up the road? No. Nope. Best car museum in the country. I haven't been anywhere but LAX in here, buddy. Oh, well, I recommend that. That's great. Eat some uh, Korean tacos. Okay. It's the, the, the only truly Los Angeles food, and they are delicious. Korean burritos, Korean tacos. Noted. Uh, and... Uh, Cars and oh, you're racing for cars and coffee. There's a cars and coffee on Saturday if you want to come out and see LA car culture. 100%. 100% recommend that. Come go drive our race. Go drive in the canyons if you can. Yeah. Awesome. I got plenty of time tomorrow. Check some stuff out. Do some media car rides. I am. I'll, but I'll be at the racetrack Saturday. Obviously, racing on Sunday. I'll see you there. All right. We'll see you at there. the Bushlight Clash in the LA Moral Coliseum. Everybody, Matt Fair, right here on Second Thing. Thanks very much. <laughs>